Today, we're going to build something really exciting, a DIY IR proximity sensor circuit. By the end of this video, you'll see how a tiny movement of your hand or any object can turn on an LED without even touching it. Sounds like magic, right? Let's get started step by step. First, here is a BC547 transistor. This is one of the most commonly used NPN transistors in electronics projects. I'll start by applying a thin layer of solder on its emitter and collector pins so we can make strong joints. Next, I'll solder two copper wires, one to the collector and the other to the emitter of this transistor. These wires will act like small bridges, making it easier to connect other components later. Now, I'll apply some solder on the base pin and on one of the copper wires. This will prepare the circuit for the second transistor. Here comes another BC547 transistor. I'll solder its emitter pin directly to the base of the first transistor and its collector pin to the copper wire connected to the collectors of the first transistor. Now, this is an IR receiver diode. It detects infrared light. I'll bend both of its pins carefully and solder the positive pin to the base of the second transistor, while the negative pin goes to the same copper wire connected to the collectors of both transistors. This setup allows the IR receiver to control the transistor pair. After trimming the extra pins, I'll bring in a 68K ohm resistor. One side of the resistor will be soldered to the positive pin of the IR receiver, and the other side will go to the copper wire soldered to the emitter of the first transistor. This resistor acts like a stabilizer, making sure our circuit doesn't trigger randomly. Now, let's add the IR transmitter diode. Its positive pin will connect to the copper wire at the collector of both transistors. I'll cut its negative pin short and then solder a 100 ohm resistor to it. The other end of this resistor will connect to the copper wire coming from the emitter of the first transistor. This part is crucial because it sets the correct current for the IR LED. After making these connections, I'll trim the copper wires to make the circuit neat and compact. Now, I'll cut one section of the copper wire near the first transistor to make space for the LED indicator. I'll solder the positive pin to the emitter pin of the transistor and the negative pin to the copper wire. This LED will glow whenever the sensor detects an obstacle. Finally, let's power it up. I'll connect the positive and negative wires of a 3.7 volt battery to our circuit. And now, the magic happens. When I bring my finger or any object close to the IR sensor, the LED lights up instantly. No touch, no switch, just proximity sensing. The IR transmitter continuously emits infrared light, when an object comes close, this IR light reflects back and is received by the IR receiver. That tiny signal is amplified by our transistor pair, which then powers the LED. This simple circuit can be used in automatic hand sanitizers, touchless doorbells, obstacle detection for robots, smart lighting systems, and even security alarms. Basically, anywhere you want automation without physical contact.